through violence and all that at us during the 2016 election. This time around, if they try it, we will respond with like, if not more than whatever they throw at us. We are not going to sit idle now and then watch people steal an election from us. We are going to fight for it. We are going to unite the people of our party. We are going to organize our own young and active people to come up with a very clear response strategy to any violent tendency on the part of the of the ruling party or any other party. As if as you have a question. The problem is my name is Azima Dimomojima. I work with the Guardian. Yes. The problem is particularly okay where I come from. There are three problems. Poverty, poverty and poverty. Thank you. What is your blueprint? To fight this when you come in. Thank you very much, Mama Jimon. Poverty, poverty, poverty. If I come in, I have a very robust agricultural transformation program. I don't know if you are familiar with the civil crop processing zone for cassava at Alape, which is in Kamabunu local government area. It also extends to a Bajana area, to Adavi. Uh, which is, you know, the Central Senatorial District is a very uh, close and compact area of Bogi State. So whatever affects Adavi affects Okene and all the people of, of Central. So I assure you, we are going to empower people with agricultural programs, bringing young people, old people, who we'll have extension farmers feeding into a larger farm with processing industries that will leave all the people out of poverty. Number one is security. We will tighten security, we will enforce order, and we will make sure that people can exercise rights and privileges of citizenship under a secure environment while going about their daily endeavors. But agriculture is the pillar of our transformation program. And then, of course, the solid mineral resources. We will work with the federal government to work towards the activity at Jokuta, the tap, uh, you know, operations to employ more people. So employment generation, agricultural transformation, processing industries will get our people out of poverty. Last question from Abdurrahman. Okay, my name is Abdurrahman Zakaria. I write for Blueprint newspaper. What plans do you have with regards to youth and women empowerment? Thank you. Well, youth and women empowerment. While I was there, we had a program called Yard for Kogi youth advancement program for Kogi people. We were able to recruit over 120,000 youths, train them for about three, four weeks at the NYSC camp, and then attach them to various vocations and pay them a stipend of about 10,000 naira a month, encourage them to save. That at the end of 12 months, whatever you save, the state government will double it for you so that you can establish yourself on a small business. For example, if you learn how to grow livestock, we will double the money for you, you buy more, tender them, and then you, you live your own life and become a net employer of labor. That's what we did. And we are going to improve on that for women, for young people, both male and female. We are going to encourage those who, who are uh, into commerce, give them soft loans and uh, training you know, as necessary for them to improve the yield in whatever endeavor they want to carry out. So we have a robust program for women empowerment, youth empowerment, and employment generation. Well, colleagues, um, you, you agree with me that um, experience is something you just have to acquire, you can't buy it. <laughs> and that uh, has government, incoming government has, that, so has clearly demonstrated it itself. Uh, we have listened to you, sir. Thank you. Your message will be adequately presented and presented in public. The rest are sure that you are further than you. Yes. But in closing, in closing, gentlemen, audience, audience, gentlemen, in closing, let me say that this next election on November 16 is critical for the survival of Bogi State. Bogi was on the path of progress at the time I left.
than if I had spent four more years with the kind of money that has come into the hand of the present governor. Ogi would have become a state that all of us would be very proud of. So, my message to our people is this. Many people have come out who want to be governor of Ogi State in the November election. Like Latif said, experience is key. Kogi is right now like in a quicksand. The more you wriggle, the deeper you sink. So if you bring a greenhorn who has no experience, who has no proper knowledge of the workings of Kogi State, you will spend the first one to two years trying to find his feet. If I move into the governor's office today, I know where I left the state, I will study where it is, and I will start driving the ship of state right away. No waste of time. Because we don't have time. We don't want to be to collapse and become a basket case. Elect me as an experienced governor who was honest, sincere with the people and dedicated to their cause to come back and put the Kogi State back on a path of progress. That would be my advice and, and plead to all our citizens. Let us not experiment. Go for experience, go for knowledge, go for capacity. I have it. And I've demonstrated in many of the projects which I did across the state. I thank you very much. Thank you.